It's great to be back in Mexico. Um, it's been, um, well, we played here last year, but since the last album, it's been five years already. So it's very long time, and for a band like us, it's really long time. You know, we feel like it's really about the time to release something new, and very excited about it, of course. The album title Dark Matters has multiple meanings, but of course it's relating to the lyrics, which are kind of dark and moody, as always with the Rasmus. Uh, but also Dark Matter as the astronomical thing, it's very fascinating and I've always been looking up into the space and wondering what's up there. And it's a mystical thing. For the album cover, we sort of have the old Rasmus look from 2003, from Dead Letters album. Uh, we actually took back the old logo with, with the leaves and everything, and we kind of like it, and it fits the mood of the album this time again. Um, I think um, there's a little bit more mystery in the lyrics and, and also with the sounds of the new album. So, yeah, it's maybe a, like a time hop back in the time. Tonight we escape Just you and me Yeah, since the last album it's been five years, which is a kind of long time, but if we compare it to the whole um, time that we have existed, which is from 94, I can't even count how many years. <laughs> 20 something years. So five years is not that long in that time period. But like I said, it's really nice to be back and we are planning a tour for, for Mexico next year, beginning of next year. And, and uh, we might come back even this year with the, with the whole band. This time I came just by myself to do a couple of interviews, but we are trying to come back before the New Year's. Uh, there's a lot of favorite things in Mexico. We have come here, I don't know, 12, 15 times already. So we have some traditions, you know, we, we kind of like to stay in the same hotel because it's like familiar to us. Uh, we have this restaurant. We always go to this restaurant every time we come from the airport. And like yesterday I came here, I wanted to go straight to that Mexican place and have all the traditional Mexican food. And, and it has become a really important place for us because we have come here so many times and we have so many loyal fans here. Well, I like everything spicy. I like to test my limits. <laughs> but um, you have to suffer a little bit afterwards, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as you might know. Yeah. This is my paradise. I don't drink alcohol anymore, but when I used to drink alcohol, of course, you know, uh, Mexican drinks like tequila and, you know, these are really good. And, and we actually made, made friends with uh, some Mexican Indians a long time ago, like 2005, 2004, when we came for the first time. And they had prepared this special drink for us. It was made out of mushrooms. It's like <laughs> something LSD in it, or I don't know, but... That was kind of special. <laughs> but I, I'd rather kill myself than turn into their sin. Actually, I have finished my second solo album. It's just not been released yet. So I think we're looking at the right time to put it out sometime. But it's, it's been busy with the Rasmus, so you know, that's everything. And then solo album comes in the background, it's like a secondary thing. Uh, my favorite band of all time is Weezer.
And that's one of the the albums that I always wait for the release date and I go to buy it. And if I can buy the physical thing, I, I would do that. Weezer is one of those bands. And then I like Muse. Well, I like recently kind of much hip hop. I listen to Future and Drake. Daft Punk. That would be in top 10, definitely. Radiohead. Keen. Forest. Cars. Duck. <laughs> Something like Lord of the Rings. 80s. Just in time. The Rasmus. Nintendo. Robert De Niro. Past. Present. Bob Ross Metal Black Into Dreams Food <laughs> <laughs> 